Everybody, it's Caitlin. So I wanted to show you just a real quick recipe that I like to make and how I'm going to make it just a little bit different today. And I'm really excited to try it. So as you may have known, we are switching over to be mostly vegetarian, at least for the month, so that we could try to lose weight and just eat healthier and stuff. So I'm making one of my favorite dishes that I make, um, but I'm going to add a little bit of twist. And basically it is stuffed mushrooms. Now I think these are portobello mushrooms. I don't know. Let me grab it. It's these big giant mushrooms here. They're like the size of your hand. And um, mushrooms are supposed to be really good for you. I don't know. But we just love mushrooms. It's one of our favorite vegetables. Or I don't even think it's a vegetable. But whatever it is, they're amazing. So basically what we're going to do is, first let me go over what you need. You're going to need some mushrooms. You can use little mushrooms, big mushrooms. I like the big mushrooms. Um, and then I, today, typically I do it myself, but today I'm just going to use pico de gallo. And so you can make your own or just buy from the store. This has jalapenos, which I'll be picking out, onions, tomato, and cilantro. And I think there's probably a little bit of lime juice in there. Um, and then queso fresco cheese. It's our favorite, but you can make your own cheese. I'll leave a link down below to make your own cheese with just milk and vinegar. You can use that too, but I'm going to use queso fresco cheese. And then we love garlic. You don't need the garlic, but we love garlic. So I'm going to add some garlic in there. going to need some olive oil. And then salt and pepper. We're going to use pink sea salt, vin pep or salt because it's healthier for you. And it's actually really yummy. So what you're going to do is start with, in here I have the pico de gallo, the garlic, and the cheese and the olive oil, salt and pepper. So basically to taste on the salt and pepper, the oil is just to give it a little bit of moisture because it gets really dry. Um, and then basically you're going to just make enough to fill your mushrooms. It depends on how many you're making. I'm making six, so I am using two cans of this and then um, two handfuls of cheese because we like a lot of cheese. Okay, so basically throw all of that into your blender and just pulse it until it's, you know, it's chunky, I guess you could say. So, and then just set that aside. And then for the mushrooms, what we're going to do is mushrooms grow on the ground and that's kind of gross. So what I always do after I wash them or before you wash them is I peel them. So it's super easy to just peel them all off just like that all the way around. And then I take a spoon, and because there's not a lot of room in here, I scoop out the insides. Just all the way around it. And basically it's going to, and then take the stem out. It ends up looking like this. So everything's scooped out of it, it's really hot. So, that's what you're going to do for all of them, and then you can wash it afterwards if you want, or before, but whatever. And then I take a skillet, or you can use the stove, put a little bit of oil in there. And basically what you want to do is cook them just for two minutes on each side to get them a little bit soft. Because we're going to put it in the oven. So just a little bit soft so the cook time is less. So, the oven is done. Let me grab that out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, after we saute them up on the skillet or in a pan like that on the stove with a little bit of oil, you just want them a little bit soft, but not too much color or anything. Um, much like this, they're a little bit flexible and pliable, but it's still kind of hard around the edges, so that it's still going to cook up nice. So then put them onto a baking sheet um, with either foil or just spray it down just so they don't stick, and top them with your mixture, and then you can put a little bit of cheese or salt and pepper on the top of it, and then bake them in a 350 degree oven for 5 to 8 minutes, um, depending on how long you cook them on the skillet. So then when you take them out, they look like this. Oops, I just spilled liquid everywhere, but it's okay. Look like that and they smell amazing. And you can see that it's still flexible. It's flexible, but it's not hard, so it's perfect. And then what I did was I took one avocado and a little bit of garlic and some salt, the pink salt, and then we're just gonna put it on top. smells so good just like that and that's all you really have to do to make these and I've never tried it with the avocado so I'm interested to see how it tastes let's see 
Mmm. Added a little bit too much garlic, but that is really, really yummy. Gives you bad breath, but it's actually really good for you. So, there you go. Vegetarian, easy, fast mushrooms that are stuffed with whatever you want to stuff them with. So, let me know what you think, and if you try this, let me know how you like it. And if you make it yourself, let me know how you make it. And, of course, as i got to show you, my Jamberry nails. These ones starting to peel. That is the... Um, True Shine Gel Enamel Kit, and then um, January Sister Style. Over here I have the Gel Enamel Kit with my own little twist on it. So if you want to host a party, let me know. We can do any kind of theme or anything like that. It's all done on Facebook. It is free. And let me know how you like this dish. Thanks, guys.